I also want to ask you about, you know, the transgender community, right? Mm -hmm. That's another topic that always comes about. Um, some people feel like, you know, the transgender community is like, they're very aggressive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, Which they are. And they're almost trying to replace women in a way, you know? Mm -hmm. That's how I some do, people I feel. Do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, I saw one post where well, they were I would, like... I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say um, I wouldn't speak for the entire community mm -hmm. because you have those that are delusional and you have those that know what the fuck they, you have those that know what the fuck they are mm -hmm. and they know what the fuck it is. Like, you know, like I can't, I, and I don't know how to put this without like sounding harsh or anything, but yeah. a natural born male cannot tell me as a woman how to be a woman. You can't tell me how to be a woman because yeah. Every time I've, you know, I've gotten into it with trans people on the internet too, mm -hmm. because I'm, I speak up about the shit because if I see something that I don't like on the internet, I'm going to speak up on it. Yeah. But especially when it's directed towards black women, because one thing you're not going to do is tell me how to be a woman. If I ask you, what is a woman? You, you're not going to have anything to say. Yeah. Like if I ask, uh, if I ask a man, like they, he, they don't even have to be trans or anything. If I can just ask a, a straight man, what is a woman? What makes a woman a woman? Yeah. They wouldn't be able to tell me. Yeah. And, and you know, another thing is, and I've had this conversation and it's like, somebody said something that really stood out. They were like, um, a transgender woman is still like a man that's transitioned, mm -hmm. you know? And men are very like competitive. Men like to dominate. Mm -hmm. Men like to invade. Men are very violent. Mm -hmm. So the person's point was that it's st they still have the male gene in them. That's why when they become a woman, mm -hmm. even though they're quote unquote a woman now, they still want to like dominate. Mm -hmm. And now it's almost like, well, it's not just women that have periods. Everybody has periods. Mm -hmm. Periods don't belong That's to women. That's very delusional. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like they... They, it's like a, it's like the male energy still want to dominate a woman. You feel me? That's very delusional. Yeah. That's I've, I've definitely heard that before. Um, I've definitely seen a video on a trans woman. Mind you, I respect everybody. I fuck with everybody. Yeah. But you can't cross. You can't. I mean, science is science. Facts is facts. Like you can't. Yeah. You can't beat science. It's just that's just what it is. And people are delusional. And you know. I call anybody what they want to be called. You want to be called, if you're, you know, if you're a trans woman, you want to be called she, I respect that. Yeah. But <clears throat> don't, I mean, if you come at me first about me as a woman, as a natural born woman, yeah. then that's when I'm going to have to like lay the facts out to you. And you're, and you're like delusional as fuck. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Then I'm going to have to like set you straight. Yeah. But other than that, I respect everybody. But yeah. do you think the, the LGBTQ periods, should be together? Like, as in, and the reason why I say that is, you know, sometimes, you know, you have a gay person, a lesbian, a transgender person, they all have different ideologies, mm -hmm. different way of thinking. Mm -hmm. They have different wants, mm -hmm. but they all like push together in this one group. Mm -hmm. So if the transgenders are doing something that people don't like, they're still going to look at the lesbians and the gay people as y'all the same. Right. Well, first and foremost, I do not associate myself with the LGBTQIA Z. I don't. I don't associate myself with that. I'm just a natural born lesbian black woman. Yeah. That's just what I am. I don't associate myself with the. I don't associate myself with them. So and why? Because they're delusional as fuck. <laughs> like they're delusional. Like let's like let's really be a hundred. Yeah. Like, and that's one thing about me. A lot of people don't like like me because I am real. Like. Yeah. I'm not delusional. This is what it is. This is facts is facts. Yeah. Yeah, they're okay. delusional as fuck. So there's a lot of things that you disagree with them on. Yes. Okay. For sure. Yeah. I don't believe that this should be, you know, the LGBTQIA shit. I don't think that should be forced on kids. I really don't think so. Yeah. I really feel like... Oh, yeah, that's another topic, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really don't feel like that should be forced on kids. Like, yes, I get... I, get, I totally get it from both sides. Like... I definitely get, even with the straight, you know, the heterosexual shit, I don't think that should be forced on kids either. I feel like mm -hmm. kids should grow up and decide what they want to, you know, what they want to do mm -hmm. with themselves or decide who they're attracted to. I don't think that, either way, I don't feel like sexuality or sex in general or 
sexual attraction should be forced on kids. Like, I don't think that's just whether you're gay, straight, transgender, I don't care what you are. It should just shouldn't be forced on kids. Yeah. Kids are kids. Let kids be kids. Like when I see, you know, cartoons, cause now they're, you know, they're doing gay couples and shit in cartoons, mm -hmm. which I don't disagree with, but I do at the same time, because like, why are kids exposed to this shit now? Like yeah. they're, you have, you got like a little two year old watching this shit. They don't need to know nothing about that shit until they get older. Yeah. You know, like eventually they're going to see it. Like that's just what it is. Cause you know, 20 is 20, uh, about to be 2024, bro. Everybody's accepting everybody gay now. So it's like mm -hmm. they're bound, they're going to see it. But if they ask, then yes, explain it to them. But if not, why are you forcing that shit on the child? Yeah. Like they're kids, let them be kids. You know, it's, it's interesting because I guess technically being straight was forced on us too, right? Facts. That's mm -hmm. always forced on us, right? Because mm -hmm. I grew up seeing men and women kissing all the time. Mm -hmm. In shows, you would see a man pursuing a, a woman or a boy pursuing a girl. Mm -hmm. So I guess technically that is forcing straightness mm -hmm. on us, it right? It definitely is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in reverse, seeing two guys kissing or two girls kissing, it is a shocker because we, we haven't seen that, like, on a large scale. It wasn't accepted back then. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know? Or it was but like, like, I guess technically it's fair. Mm -hmm. Right? Because mm -hmm. if y'all been showing all the straight stuff, then show all the gay stuff too to make mm -hmm. it fair. Mm -hmm. But you were saying... And I definitely get that. You are saying don't show either. Don't show either. Okay. Like kids be kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 